because for me, sometimes I struggle with sharing a personal story, but also at the same time, kind of don't know how to balance the, the narrative, the drama, and, you know, personal feelings. So I want to know, want, want to ask you, like, do you have a sign or anything like, you know, you're doing the right thing? Like, you know, okay, I'm not going to bore the audience, but this is the right thing to do. I think, um, thanks. No, I think it feels, I think you try different things and you know when it feels right, when it fits as you're writing, uh, you know, I think you, you feel it when you like it and when you don't, uh, something's off and then you keep working on it until it feels right. And I always think it's more interesting when the audience can fill in things like, you, and I also think people in, real li in life, like in movies, they always say their feelings. And I'm like, people don't say their feelings most of the time. So how do you show what they're feeling through what they don't say or with the, with the action of, with some behavior? And I, I'm so interested in the, in the spaces in between and, and what people, how they express themselves. But they, I feel like, yeah, a lot of times people don't really say what they're feeling directly. So I didn't want him to say it. Like this all meant so much to me and it's changed my life. You know, I think you convey that and then the audience can, can put their own version of that uh, in. But I do I do think, um, I think there's a balance though, because I don't know, when I made my first short film, I, you're trying not to be obvious, but then the audience doesn't really, it's not that clear and people don't, you want people to understand what's going on. So I think if there's a way to be clear at the beginning so that the audience can attach to your story, but hopefully you can find other ways to for them to express themselves um, and I look, and I think observing in life how how people do that. When if you're at a family dinner and someone can say something that means something really different, so I think part of it comes from observing how people relate to each other. And a lot of times people aren't clear or don't express themselves directly. I think. Mm -hmm.